back at it, guys, as we are. I don't think I've missed a day in four years. And uh, that's because I get a lot of my work done way ahead of time, so I make sure. But anyway, I am doing, what am I doing right now? I'm doing Cody Johnson and Ian Munsick, Long Live Cowgirls. And this is requested by Sloan Saunier. So Sloan, shout out to you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you for your involvement in the channel, too. You're such a, a kind, intelligent soul, and that's a wonderful combination. Here we go. Very different. She's a gooseneck on a dually, a long neck at the bar, loves old John Wayne movies, waltzing under them stars. She sunned her up in the saddle, cutting through the hurt. Loves branding her cattle. Long live cowgirls. Well, she rode in them wagons when the wild west was won. Took the canyons and badlands and made them her home. She's boots on the two songs and snaps on her pearls. Long live cowgirls. Very interesting composition. Like a paint colored Mustang. She's fast and she's wild Stop a runaway freight train With her high country smile yeah. She's tough as December Salt of the earth Make you fall like September Long live cowgirls Well she rode I just got to say, I know the song's getting close to being over anyway, but I just got so carried away with the imagery. And I haven't been to the Badlands, but I've been in South Dakota a couple of times. The canyons are talking about probably Arizona or Colorado, but I just got carried away. And then uh, she could stop a freight train with her smile. I mean, I mean, who doesn't sort of in a way fantasize about cowgirls, you know? Long live. That was wonderful, seriously. I don't know who wrote that. And by the way, it's not a research channel. Every so often, somebody will leave a comment. Somebody left one the other day, and it was a real jackass comment just about, do your research and all this. It's like, well, way to seize a wonderful moment with beautiful song and turn it ugly. I don't know who wrote this song, but what a beautiful song. Uh, it was really good writing. Because I marvel, you've heard me say this before, I marvel at like when you select certain thoughts to go into a song like this. I mean, this wasn't like a narrative development type thing where the story was being told, you know, chronologically. You could insert, you know, she could stop a train with her smile, a free train with her smile. You could have put that in anywhere in that song. So this is sort of like a collection of thoughts. And I always marvel at what's left out. 
I don't know what was left out. I couldn't know, you know. All we know is what's in it. That's what we're... But I love what they included in this. And I love the instrumentation. My gosh, the music was just gorgeous in this. Just allowed you to feel it and just... You know, and uh, what I got mostly from this was the toughness of cowgirls. You know, not just like the prettied up, you know, cowgirls going out to go dancing one night with their boots and shirt on and all that. But this was more the practical side of cowgirls in the history of our country, basically, where they settled, what they did. And then they became beautiful. They always were in their own right. But, you know, when you could stop a freight train with a smile... That brings certain images to mind, so. Oh, my goodness. Sloan Sonier, what am I going to rate this? Ooh, I got it. The number that popped into my head was an 8.8. .8. It was gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous song is what it was. I mean, the lyrics weren't complex. They totally worked. Brought respect upon a group of people, a type of person, cowgirls. And, um, you know, from the history right on up to, to now, to today. So there it is. Ian Munsick and Cody Johnson. Code Joe. That's it, folks. Leave your comments. Share it. Like it. Do that kind of thing. That helps me out, too. And that's it. Have a great day. See you in another video. Keep rocking the country. Yeah.